Right, Barney. Now that we've sorted out the fruit and vegetables which have been picked, we'd better take care of the fruit and vegetables which are still in the ground. I'll use this rake to pull up the weeds so that the potatoes can grow properly. Oh, yeah, and I'll go and get a watering can to give the vegetables a drink, yeah. Oh, yes. <clears throat> oh good morning, Grandpa Clock. Isn't this a wonderful sunny summer day? Oh, good morning, Uncle Teapot. Yes, it certainly is a lovely sunny summer day. I do wish it would rain a little, though. Oh, why is that, Grandpa Clock? Well, the sunshine is wonderful, of course, but it's been sunny for so long now that the garden is getting rather thirsty. Oh, do gardens get thirsty? Why, certainly they do. If there isn't enough water, everything in the garden gets thirsty. Plants get thirsty, tomatoes get thirsty, Cabbages get thirsty. Flowers get thirsty. Oh, they all need water, you know. Just like you and me. Everything needs water to live and grow. Does that mean that everything in the garden will die if it doesn't rain soon? Oh, no, no, no. Uh, we can still give the plants a drink from a watering can, like the one Barney Bin is bringing now. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but I am getting worried. Uh, I wish we could have a really good shower of rain to make everything in the garden grow. Yeah. A nice shower of rain to make everything in the garden grow, eh? I wonder if H.G. Well, the wise old wishing well, will be able to help. Answer you see, H.G. Well. Grandpa Clock is really worried about his god. Couldn't you give me something magic to help the plants to grow? Well, 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 Uncle Teapot, I suppose I could give you something. But don't you think it would be better just to let the sun shine and the rain fall and let the garden grow in its own good time? But I want it to grow now, H.G. Well. It would really cheer up Grandpa Clock. Oh, very well. If it's to cheer up Grandpa Clock, you can help yourself to a bucket of magic water from me. Sprinkle a few drops of water on the garden and the plants will soon grow. But remember not to use too much, for a little magic goes a long way. Oh, thank you, H.G. Well. This will really put a smile on Grandpa Clock's face. Ah, uh, but remember, Uncle Teapot, don't use too much magic water. Uh, a little magic goes a long way. <sighs> your worries are over, Grandpa Clock. I have something here that will really make your garden grow. Oh, what is it, Uncle Teapot? Magic water. Oh. Just wash this. I'll pour a drop of the magic water on this potato and wait until you see what happens. Yeah. Good gracious. That's astounding, Uncle Teapot. How marvellous. Here it is marvellous, isn't it? I never dreamed that the magic water would make things grow this big. Hey, everyone, come over here and look at this. Oh, my goodness, look at that. That's the biggest potato I've ever seen. How did you do it, Uncle Teapot? Oh, well, it wasn't too difficult. I just poured some magic water on it. Just wait and see what I can do to this strawberry. Look, I'm going to pour a drop of the magic water onto this strawberry. Ooh, that's fantastic. <laughs> <laughs> it's so big that even I couldn't eat it all. <laughs> oh, as if we'd let you. There's more than enough for everyone. Let's take the giant strawberry inside the magic house. And the giant potato, too. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. This magic water is wonderful stuff. I wonder what else I could use it on. Ooh, look at the size of that giant strawberry compared to the other strawberries. That one's small and that one's big. 
but that one's huge. <laughs> and look at the size of the giant potato compared to the other potatoes. Mm -hmm. That one's small and that one's big. But that one's huge. Whatever are we going to do with the giant potato? Well, we could use the giant potato to make baked potato, boiled potato, roast potato, mashed potato, crisps and chips. And what will we do with the giant strawberry? Oh, wow. We could use the giant strawberry to make strawberry jam, strawberry jelly, strawberry tarts, <laughs> and strawberries and cream. Hey. Ooh, yum, yum. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh no, I'm stuck in the branches of a giant apple tree and it's shooting higher and higher into the sky. Uh, oh, no. oh, now it's dropping giant apples on everyone below. We made it just in time. The magic house is completely covered with giant plants. Oh. Whatever will become of us now? Oh, I should have listened to H.G. Well when he warned me about the magic water. Oh, whatever will we do now? Whatever will we do now? Help! Help! <laughs> <sighs> <sighs> I must have nodded off. It's the hot summer sun. It makes you so sleepy. Help! Help! What's that noise? It sounds like Uncle Teapot. Where's it coming from? Oh, goodness gracious, whatever's happened to the magic house? There's nothing there but a great wilderness of overgrown plants. Help! <laughs> Help! Oh. Ahoy there, Uncle Teapot! What are you doing up that giant tree? And how did the giant tree get there? Ahoy there, H.G. Well. I'm so sorry, it's all my fault. I didn't listen to your warning and I threw the magic water everywhere. And now look what's happened. I told you, Uncle Teapot. I told you to let the sun shine and the rain fall and the garden would grow in its own good time. But you wouldn't listen. Well, perhaps you'll listen now. Oh no! H.G. Well has made it rain and I'm getting soaked! Oh, but so are the plants in the garden. And look at that! As the rain is falling on the plants, they're beginning to shrink! Oh, 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 down we go! What's happening, Grandpa Clock? It seems to be raining, Kitty. Oh, how remarkable! Look, everyone! The rain is making all the plants in the garden go back to their normal size. Oh, I say. Well, Uncle Teapot, it looks like you did it again. But thanks to H.G. Well, the garden has gone back to its normal size. But you should just have left well alone. Oh, I know, Grandpa Clock. I'm afraid I just got carried away. Oh, but isn't it wonderful to have the garden back the way it was? It's even better than the way it was, Uncle Teapot. The magic water was all very well, but there's nothing like a shower of rain to make the garden grow as it should. And from now on, we'll leave it to grow as it should. Oh, I'm so glad that everything has gone back to its normal size. Oh, not everything, Kitty Kettle. <laughs> not quite everything. <laughs> all right. We're all going to have a garden party to celebrate. And we'll start the party with a garden dance. Oh,
Teapot, it looks as if everything turned out all right after all. But I hope you learned your lesson. Yeah, I did, Kitty Kettle. I learned that a little magic goes a long way, and so do a giant potato and a giant strawberry. Bags the big potatoes. Oh, yeah.